Hello, I'm here at the God's Call event at St. Paul's in State College. I'm going to be talking with some of the young people who have come here to discern God's call on their life. I'm speaking with Erica Conklin, a theater major at Messiah. What brought you to God's Call this weekend, Erica? Well, I, this is actually my fourth God's Calling event. Um, I came the first time as a freshman in high school, or a sophomore in high school, I'm sorry, um, as a result of having an amazing calling experience at church camp over the summer. Um, so I was given the recommendation by my pastor at the time to come to this event, which I did with my youth leaders, my chaperone, which was a great experience. Um, and every year I've learned something very new about my call. Um, for example, I think I definitely feel called to being an ordained elder. With I'm looking potentially at extension ministries in the future, but I've really been battling with what it means to me to be both a theater major and looking towards God's call. Because initially I just chose to be a theater major, mostly because I wanted to do something that I really enjoyed for those four years that I'd be spending at Messiah College. But I realized this weekend through a really awesome presentation that I can really bring scripture alive through drama, and I'm very excited about that. So, All right, well, are there any particular parts of, of the God's Call event that stick out to you in your mind? I think for me, just the conversations that I've been able to have with different individuals, snippets of knowledge that I've picked up from different people are what matters the most about this conference. That's where I learn the most. Well, thank you very much for talking with us, Erica. At the God's Call event, I shared a little bit about how my path to my career has definitely not just been straightforward. And I've had a zigzag of switching majors and so forth. And then Austin came up to talk to me later and said that he felt like he understood exactly what I was talking about because he has gone through the same thing and is recently um, decided to make a switch in his career. Can you tell a little bit about um, why you came to God's call and then a little bit of, of the switch that you're making in your life? Certainly. Um, my pastor originally invited me to God's calling event. So I came along mainly because he invited me, but then as I thought about it more and as time went by, I realized there's, there's two callings that I currently have in my life, one that I have, I have accepted um, and one that I'm still trying to discern for myself. Um, I did go through a little bit of changing throughout my college career. I switched my majors multiple times, um, graduated with a degree in business, not sure if that's what I want or not, but that's, that's what I got. Um, and I'm currently working full time um, in, in central Pennsylvania uh, doing a, a technology job and I love my job, it's fantastic. But um, a few things over the summer happened in my life that um, made me think about, is, is this where God wants me to be? Um, I mean, I love my job, but I wasn't sure if, you know, is this where God wants me, me to be or is this where, where I want to be? And so I prayed about it over, over months at a time, and um, I, I came to the conclusion that it's not where um, God is directing me. I mean, I'm, he put me there for right now, and that's fantastic, but he wants more out of my life. And so I prayed about it, and I really felt God calling me to do more with, with missions. I looked into different mission programs that I had um, looked at when I was graduated from college, and um, I, I came to a long-term missions trip called um, With Adventures and Missions, which is a nonprofit organization, um, and it's called The World Race, and it's going to take me um, to 11 countries in 11 months, um, basically just spreading the word of God to, to every place that we go. Um, I would just be in a community of believers and just spreading the, the word of God through evangelism, through playing with orphans, through um, uh, just playing praise and worship songs, doing church services, Bible studies, and, and all sorts of things. And, and that's a big change um, for my life. That's the call that I have right now. And, and I've, I've, it's been affirmed in my life in so many ways. But the secondary call that I'm, that I'm really trying to discern as well this weekend is, is what to do after, after I get back from my mission trip. Because I know I'm going to change as a person. I'm going to change um, in so many ways with my re relationship with Christ. And when I get back from this trip, I, I don't know what I'm going to want to do. And that's the call that I'm really um, starting to try and focus on. So um, this upcoming year, I'm going to be um, fundraising. I'm going to be um, getting prepared for my mission trip. I have a, a blog spot, austinolsh, U-L-S-H, dot theworldrace.org. 
Um, and people can follow me on there. They can go online and learn more about the World Race, what it is, um, Adventures and Missions, and that um, organization. They do tons of, of short and long-term mission trips. Uh, it's a fantastic organization. Well, thank you so much for sharing, Austin. I was really encouraged by hearing a story of someone that truly reevaluated their life, even if they were happy in their job, to um, just think about what God really wants them to do in their life. And so many stories are like that here at God's Call.